What's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of Highway Spec. So today we are going to have a little bit of a repeat in that last week we did the Chevy Malibu because that car is going away. It's a sedan that people aren't buying anymore so it's going away. Unfortunately that's what we're also doing today. This one is unfortunate because personally I think these are fantastic vehicles and I think that they're not as appreciated as they should be. Granted, there is some marketing issues. There are some uh, feature issues. Uh, but anyway, we're going to spec today a Lexus GS350. Now, I do have a soft spot in my heart for the Lexus GS in when they first came out in the 90s. They were just a radical design, really cool car. Uh, you know, rear-wheel drive, they offered a V8, and they were just all around a cool car, even though it was a sedan, a family sedan. And over the years, it kind of stagnated. It's not quite as dynamic as it used to be. The last few years, the only thing they've done is they've, you know, done a midlife, mid-cycle refresh and added five horsepower. You know, nothing that really move the radar. They did do the GSF, the V8 version, which is awesome, again, but overpriced for what it is, not in the same class as, like, the E63 AMG. Anyway, they haven't been selling, so they're going away. Uh, so we're going to jump into it. Let's build a Lexus GS350, the bread and butter one. I mean, look at that. That's already a pretty good-looking car. Now, I, I do like this uh, blue mica color that they have, but I don't know. We'll see if that's, that's where we end up or not. Let's go ahead and build it. All right, so we are going to do an all-wheel drive GS350 F-Sport just because I think the looks are sharper, they're nicer. It changes the suspension a little bit, however, it's still a very compliant ride. Definitely not something that you're going to be complaining too much about. Uh, classic color, the ultra white, I really like it, however, I see a lot of them. I do see a surprising amount of the silver ones. Uh, my mom had a IS350 in this atomic silver color. And I liked it, but it always kind of looked like it was dirty. Um, and this is a color I really like, caviar. Um, it's unique in that it's not, it's not your typical black. It has kind of like a gold fleck underneath it. And so... It's not your straight black obsidian in this case. Smoky granite mica, that's a color that they brought back. Red or red looks great, and then that ultrasonic blue. I think caviar would be the way that I would spec this vehicle. Um, I traditionally don't like black vehicles for the fact that they always are, they're hard to keep looking clean, honestly. And then, you know, if you don't wash it just right you get the swirl marks and anyway the the caviar does help somewhat in that regard it does uh, hide some of those uh, swirl marks you might get um, even with a hand wash i've still had it happen but anyway we're gonna try caviar i think that's that's the way i would like it to be now, traditionally, I love, love, love these peanut butter kind of interior color cars. It is the F Sport model. Um, as we've, as I've mentioned many times, I'm not big on black leather. This Rioja red, though, really, really looks nice on the GS350. Uh, so it's really, honestly, it's it's hard for me to choose between Flaxen and Rioja Red. But I, I don't know if it's just me growing up or 
what, but I think I'd actually, I'm, I'm going to choose the Flaxen is how I would personally spec it. Let's go ahead and look at the packages. Cold weather package, yeah. Windshield wiper DI serve might as well. Requires a heated steering wheel. No problem there. All right. Um, now, I do have a fair amount of experience with the Lexus vehicles. I was a salesperson there for a year, three, four years back now. Uh, the Mark Levinson sound system, honestly, I, I'm i really impressed by it. Yeah, it's lacking a little bit in bass, like most uh, OEM manufacturer systems are, but uh, really, cl really clear highs, and so... Parking sensors, front and rear, yep. Power close on, power open and close on the trunk. Heads up display, it's kind of a small one. Honestly, not extremely useful, but for 900 bucks, it's not that bad, especially when we're, you know, looking at almost 60,000 now, and this will push it over the top. The triple beam LED headlamps really. I think they really make the front of the car look even nicer. You usually only see them on a GSF. We'll keep the stock 19 inch wheels. Don't need to pay 25 bucks for some gloves. Yeah, glass breakage sensor. The door sills now. Door edge guards. Those are kind of nice, but I prefer the film. Rear bumper applique, yep. Yeah. And then I think the rear spoiler really does add something, even though they're um, they're they're minor, but I think it really goes a long way towards making the car look a little bit sportier. So that's where we're at: sixty thousand eight hundred eighty-five dollars for a GS350 F Sport all-wheel drive. Uh, so it's it's going to it's going to handle whatever I throw at it. It's going to be fun through those days where it's like, all right, I'm taking the long way home, going up the canyon. But then it's classy enough that you know, you have uh, potential business clients in the car or something like that. They're they're going to think it's a nice vehicle and it's extremely reliable. Um, I, you know, while working at Lexus, there was a, a client that could really afford any car that they wanted, uh, but they always chose a Lexus because even if they, you know, for a while they were a Mercedes person and they were in the shop more than they felt comfortable with, more than they liked being in the shop. And so they bought Lexus GS's. That's just what they bought because they knew it was always going to be reliable. It was still a fantastic riding vehicle. And uh, yeah, I have to agree. It's a great vehicle that I'm sad to see go, but uh, such is life. And anyway, I want to hear your, your version of this spec, what you think of it. Do you like the caviar with the flax and interior? How would you personally spec it? Uh, feel free to reach out to me, drop a, a comment in the comments below, but until next time, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video, I really appreciate it. I wanted to let you know about some exciting changes here at Highway Spec. So, we are going to start doing a Max Spec video every single week. I know you guys love the Max Spec videos, I love them too, so we're going to do Max Spec Mondays every Monday you're gonna get a max spec video. And on top of that, we're still gonna do how I would spec or how you would spec uh, your videos as well every Wednesday. So now we're getting two videos a week, which is fantastic. I'm super excited about where we're going with this. And I just wanna say thank you to everybody who watches the videos, sends in uh, their specs or you know communicates with me in any way on how we can improve this channel. So appreciate it. Exciting news, look forward to two videos a week from here on out.